Today I'm going to show you guys the smoothest music video transition imaginable. We're going to be doing this inside of After Effects and this transition is seriously fire. You could probably use it on every single one of your music videos and it's super, super versatile. You could use it and pair it with a bunch of different effects. It's total gas. And before we hop into this video, right now I'm offering my plugin Fast Effects with two free editing packs. That's right, you can get two editing packs for completely free if you go ahead and grab Fast Effects down below. Fast Effects is my plugin that lets you add hits, shakes, and wipes super easily inside of Premiere Pro. These are things that are really hard to do in Premiere Pro and the plugin does it perfectly. Everything is fully customizable and it's just very, very fire for music videos. So if you're interested in getting two free editing packs, that'll be linked down below, but let's hop right into the video. So open up an After Effects here, you guys can see we have quite a bit of stuff going on. We have this zoom out shot from Heat here that you guys saw earlier, and then you have it slide up into this perfect transition here. And when it's played through, it's super clean. The motion graphs are there. It's very smooth. It's buttery, and you could pair this with a bunch of different things, with shakes, with overlays, all that. Let me show you uh, with one of my overlays here. So I put an overlay on right here. You can see we get that nice little effect there. Anyways, let's break down how I created this and how you guys can create it as well. So to start from complete scratch here, I'm going to go ahead and delete pretty much everything here except uh, these two clips, where we have the clip of Yeet walking here, and then we have the clip of him on the car just like this. So to get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our second clip. To do this, you're gonna need two clips, obviously, as you can see here. We're gonna press Command C and then Command V, which is gonna duplicate it. As you can see there, we have two of them. Now, this part is super important. You wanna right click on the new one now, go over to time up here and click on freeze frame. Now I recommend going about a couple frames to the left. So hold command on your computer and then with the left arrow key, click it about uh, six frames, one, two, three, four, five, six and then just drag this over six frames and then press c on your keyboard and then go over here uh to this clip right here in between where you want to cut it and then press command shift d which will cut the clip click on the excess and then hit delete and then you will have a freeze frame of it and then you will have the actual video after here just like so so what we're going to do next is we're going to give ourselves some room here i'm going to go over and make this fit quality and we're going to go over to our pen tool up here in the top left. We're going to click on it. And now we're going to cut out from the background here. So just by scrolling in and then holding the space bar and clicking and dragging, we can move around here. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the entire thing just by clicking. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to make it perfect, but I highly recommend you guys take your time when you are doing this. You just want to click along the edges just like so and make sure you you can also click and drag to round them out but i think if you just click close enough just like this right here you can get it pretty fine so i'm going to go ahead and finish this up we almost have him cut out i'm just going to go around here and click back to the original link and you guys can see we have him cut out here so what we're going to do next is we're going to open up our masks section here and then open up our mask in the bottom here and you want to turn up the uh mask feather right here I'm just gonna give myself a little bit more room so you can see here. And I'm gonna change this to about like 11 or something. And then if you click off of it here, um, click on one of these, you can see the mask uh, lines disappear and you have a little bit of extra room here. So to fix that extra room, I'm gonna go to mask expansion and kind of bring that inwards just like so. And you guys can see that kind of gets rid of that. Kind of messed up around his arm, uh, but you pretty much just want to tweak it until you get it like almost perfect. So that's fine there. Um, what we're going to do next is super, super important. We're going to toggle our switches and modes here. If you don't see uh, the little motion blur thing on right here, uh, just click that. Toggle switches and modes if you don't see the little boxes. You want to see these ones here. So hit this button if you don't see these. And we're going to turn on motion blur for this. And we're also going to turn on 3D object here. So what we're going to do next is now we're going to go up, close our masks, and we're going to close this, and we're going to click on this again, open it one more time, go over to transform, and we're going to keyframe our position and our scale here. So we're going to bring our position at the very beginning key all the way down to the bottom here, just like so. And we're going to have it stick out just a little bit. And then if we bring this all the way to the very end here, we can then right click on it and go over to reset. You guys can see we get this transition right here with the motion blur on it because we turn motion blur on here. So this is how it looks right now. It's really not the greatest, but it, it'll work for now. Uh, next, what you want to do to make it even smoother is I'm going to drag this to the very end here. We're going to highlight both of them. And we're going to right click, go over to keyframe assistant and then press easy ease. That's just going to make it a whole lot smoother as you guys can see there. And we still have like this very harsh uh, background here, how it kind of just comes in just like so. I don't really like that. I'm not the biggest fan of that. So to fix that, we're going to close this and we're going to duplicate this one more time by pressing command C, command V, and then we're going to right click on it, go over to time, uh, freeze the frame again, and we're going to bring it over a couple of frames and then we're going to press command shift D to cut it, uh, delete the excess just like before. And then we have this clip here of just the static uh, screenshot again. So what we're going to do for this now, we're going to click on it and then press T on our keyboard. And that's going to bring up the opacity here. 
we're going to keyframe our opacity at the beginning and set it to zero. And then we're going to go to the very end of our clip here, uh, around right here. And we're going to set it back to 100 and then drag that here. So you guys can see we get the opacity kind of zooming in there. And if it's a little bit harsh, like you can see, it doesn't really line up properly. To fix this, you can go inside of effects and presets and you can search up blur. You can throw on any blur you want. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a little Gaussian blur right here. Drag and drop that on. And then you can see in the background here, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this up um, to something like that. And then click repeat edge. And we get a lot smoother of a transition with the Gaussian blur on there. Super, super clean, love that. And then what you can do next to add a lot more sauce to this, which I, uh, I highly recommend you do is right click over here, go over to new and then click adjustment layer. Clicking adjustment layer, you can then go ahead and search up transform and then drag and drop transform onto the adjustment layer. Now, once you're inside of the transform settings here, I recommend going ahead and turning this use shutters composition off and turning your shutter angle all the way up. And then we're gonna keyframe our scale and our position at the very beginning. And we're gonna zoom in a lot to you just like this right here, uh, maybe even a little bit more like that. And then we're gonna go to around um, here and then we're gonna right click, reset, right click, uh, reset. And you guys can see we get this zoom effect here that really adds to the transition, uh, super, super clean stuff. We press U on our keyboard and then right click on those. We can go over and go over and turn on easy ease again. And then we'll do it for these ones here too. Right, we get that easy ease effect. If you liked it, I think I liked it a little bit better before. Yeah, I think it looks better before for some reason. I'm not too sure why. And then what you can do as well to clean this up a little bit more is you could go ahead and turn on the blur. Um, we'll drag and drop Gaussian blur on this bottom one here. And we'll set the blurriness around here. We'll set a keyframe for zero. But we'll make sure like the, uh, or you know what we'll do? We'll do the one before that. I'll turn on use so you guys can see here. We'll make this one zero, but we'll do it like when it starts to come up here, we'll have this like start to blur out. Um, as you can see, we'll blur it out of the background there. So we're gonna go ahead and blur that a bit more. So that frame is like super blurry. Nice, so when it slides in, the one in the background starts to get blurry. It goes out of frame. Super, super tough transition there, guys. I absolutely love how this looks. And you guys could see what I was talking about earlier, how you could do this in any music video and do it a bunch of times over and over again. And it's just super, super clean, really cool stuff here. It'll work super well with some sound design if you wanna go ahead and add that. But that is it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you guys are interested in grabbing my plugin Fast Effects, you can grab it down below and get two additional editing packs for completely free. This is my plugin that allows you to add hits, shakes, and wipes inside of Premiere Pro in just one click. So if you're interested in that, it'll be down below. See you guys in the next video. Peace.